here anyway. Um, okay, morning. Um, what we're going to do today, um, our general warm up is fairly quick, it's going to last about six minutes. We're going to do a little bit of mobility and activation, and then we've got uh, two Metcons, one um, being more kind of slow controlled movements for core um, and trying to replicate something like a pull up, um, and then the other one is fairly short and sharp. Um, that we should get through pretty quick while we've got more techy movements on it and then we'll have time to do our accessory at the end. Your warm-up, general warm-up, is going to be an EMOM. So first minute we're going to go for high knees for the full minute. So just a nice pace that you can keep on going on that for, get the heart rate up a little bit. Then we're going to go on to RDLs and we're going to try and reach the four seven per side and then rest however long you have left in that minute, okay? So keep the front leg nice and soft, send the hips back. We're trying to touch the floor and then come through with the hips. If we can keep that other foot off the ground for all seven reps, then great. Uh, if you need to bring it down and reset it, that's absolutely fine. Nice tall back and chest. Seven on one side, seven on the other. Rest however long is left in that minute, if there's any, any time left. And then last one, we're going to go on to Cossack squats. So a nice, nice wide stance, open up the hips, and we're coming over to one side, back into the middle, and then going over low on the other side as well, okay? So we've got 10 of them to do, five each side. Um, so we'll start off with high knees, RDLs, and then go for the Cossack squats, okay? So I will get the clock set up if you guys want to get a bit of space. Okay. Okay, right, so we're starting off with one minute of high knees. 10 seconds and we'll get going. Oh, sorry. Oh, connected there just now. That's okay. Three, two, one. Let's go, high knees. Try and find your pace that we're going to keep for the full minute. Way there. Okay, 30 seconds, guys. <laughs> 10 seconds. Okay, knees nice and high. And then let's get ready for RDLs. Three, two, one. Let's go, seven each side, so one leg, touching the floor, and then squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hips all the way through at the top. If we can, just stay on that one leg for all seven reps, and then swap over. Good. Halfway there. Nice one, guys. So we've got about 15 seconds, and then we're on to our Cossack squats. So wide stance, five each Ten leg. seconds. Okay, let's go. Use it as a bit of a stretch, but let's keep the chest up in this squat. Halfway there. Awesome. Okay, 15 seconds and we're right back to the beginning on high knees. We're just going to go through this once more. 10 seconds. Let's 
Let's go, high knees. Halfway there. Okay, 30 seconds. Let's get these knees up, get the heart rate up a little bit. Ten seconds. Okay, stop there and then let's get ready for our DLs. Go seven on one side, seven on the other. When we're touching the floor, try and keep it in control and not collapse. So we're keeping tension. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Okay, onto these classic round. squats, wide stance. Let's try and get as low as we can and really open up the hips. We've got pistol squats or some form of pistols later on. So we'll really try and get the hips and the calves warm. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Lovely. Good stuff. Okay. Um, right, next part we're going to look at is just a little bit of mobility slash, slash activation. We're going to go for a Y arm raise with a three second pause. So you'll need something, a couch, a chair, a bench to get down into this position here. Okay. Um, depending on where you are, you can do it kind of standing as long as it's about chest level. When we go into that position, one you think about keeping thumbs facing up the way, squeezing your core so we're not overarching the back, and then we're gonna lift one arm at a time for three seconds and then pop it back down. So as much as that shoulder will allow us to get back and down, so think about squeezing the shoulder blade back and down. We're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, with that three second pause at the top. Okay, so get into that position just now and we'll do that at your own time. So we'll go for 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Let's see it. Okay, so we're pushing down on that opposite arm and getting it as high as we can while keeping it straight. So try and think about keeping that elbow locked out. So remember your three second pause at the top and thumb should be up facing the ceiling. It's good. OK, 
Okay, let's count our Mississippis. That's a quick three seconds. Helen. <laughs> nice guys, lock the arm out. Starting to rain, Ellen. <laughs> no. <laughs> rain is getting blown away. Oh, it's really windy. It's fresh. Nice, right, okay. Coming on to the sort of last bit of our warm up um, is going to be a little bit more specific to our first little Metcon, okay? So we're going to do two rounds of this. Um, I'll maybe put five or six minutes on the clock so we're not spending too long on it, but it's definitely not for intensity, it's more just for activation. We're going to do 10 overhead sit ups. So we're going to have an object, depending on what you've got. I'm going to use my weight vest for this. We're going to come into a sit-up position. We're not going to go for our normal ab mat position where we open up the hips. We're going to keep the feet planted on the floor. And then we're going to go all the way overhead and then punch out for the actual top of the rib. Okay, so we go all the way back overhead. We sit up and get the head through the shoulders. Back and then up. Okay, so depending on what that is, that might be quite easy for you to go all the way back to the floor. Don't stress too much if it's too unstable and you have to keep it overhead and then drive all the way back up. Okay, it'll just depend on what you've got, whether that's achievable or not. But the important part is this, this top part, okay? So we'll have a, a bit of a practice for that in a little second. Our second movement is a glute bridge walkout where we're gonna come up into our normal glute bridge, which we're all amazing at just now. We're gonna go out on the heels and then back in, out on the heels and then back in without dropping our hips to come down, okay? So this should be off the ground the entire time. Squeeze your core, squeeze through the hands on the floor and then back in. We've got between 10 and 14 of them, depending on how easy you find it. So you can adjust your reps if you're finding that quite tough. And then lastly, we're going to go for between five and 10 push ups. Try and push yourself on the reps, guys. It's not a huge amount of them. So if you do struggle with push ups and you're trying to progress a little bit, drop the reps and let's go for full push ups if we can. Down and up. Or knees on the ground, still going for the full range. No snaking at the hips, okay? Let me see you all. Nice. Right, let's see a couple of these overhead sit-ups. Let's go for three, depending on what we've got. So if we can extend all the way back overhead, then good. If not, then keep it about head level and then sit up, head through the shoulders at the top, okay? That's it. So imagine that barbell above your head, say a thruster, head through the shoulders. Good. Looks good. Rest there, and then let me just see you doing a couple of these um, glute bridge walkouts. So feet go, or uh, sorry, heels go on the ground, then walk back in, that's one rep, okay? So out with two feet, and then back in. And you're trying to get those legs as straight as you can, I know that's pretty tough. Good. So we've got between 10 and 14 of them, they're gonna hit the hamstrings quite a bit. And then we've got our push-ups between five and 10 reps of whatever it is, okay? If you're really working on push-ups and you wanna go for full ones and drop the reps even more to two, 
three reps and that's absolutely fine. What I'll do is I'll put six minutes on the clock just now. Um, I don't actually think it'll take that long, but it'll keep us right. And we'll all get started at the same time, okay? So we're starting off on our 10 overhead sit-ups. Everybody looks good to go. 10 seconds. <laughs> Okay, let's go on these ups. Sitting up as far as you can. Good guys, head through the shoulders at the top. Let's try and lock those arms out. You Scott. Excellent, okay, then we're on to our glute bridge walkouts. So hips nice and tall, nice and high. Walk the feet out and back in, that's one rep. Really squeeze the abs on this one as well, guys, so we're not arching the back too much. Sit nice, Scott, good. Sit, Davy. Nice, Pauline, looks easy. Okay, once we've done our reps on that, we've got our push-ups to do, between five and 10 reps. We've got a odd object press and movement in the next kind of Metcon, so this is warming up our chest and our pecs for that. Try and push yourself on the movement, okay? It's not a lot of reps. Let's try and get full push-ups done, nice, good. Easy. Okay, once we've done our reps on that, it's back to the beginning. One more time through. Really good guys, get that full workout. Halfway there. Top. Set legs as straight as we can on these walkouts, guys. I know it's really tough to get your knee fully locked out. Try and get them straight. Hips stay nice and high.
Nice guys, get in there. We've got about 90 seconds left on the clock. We should all be able to fit these in. One minute. Sweet, I think everybody's done. Yeah. Excellent, I'll just wait. There's a couple of people wandered off guys. I'll wait till they're back in so I can go over the next bit. It's a little bit of a different structure than we normally, normally do. Ooh. Okay, right, um, so the next part we've got is sort of the first of our Metcons, it's a little bit different um, structure wise just because we're going to go for time on the movements rather than reps, okay. I'll try my best to set up a clock so we can all do it at the same time. Um, what it's going to be is two movements we're going to do for 60 seconds, so we're going to do 60 seconds on a glute bridge floor press, which I'll show you what that is in a little second straight on to 60 seconds on a plank pull up, which will need our two chairs or benches or something within a little second. Again, I'll show you that um, and the variations we got just soon. Once we've done 60 seconds on both, we're then gonna go back to the floor press, but we're gonna do 45 seconds, then 45 seconds, then we're gonna do 30 seconds and 30 seconds, okay? We're then gonna rest two minutes and we're gonna go through that all again, right back at the beginning. Um, the movements, R, foot bridge floor press. Could be using something like we just used on the overhead sit-ups. It might be that you've got something heavier or, or that's going to be a little bit more comfortable for you in this position. Um, but it's to try and replicate a pushing movement like a bench press, like a push-up. We're going to go into that glute bridge with our object on our chest or close to our chest, depending on what that is. Hips nice and high. We're going to keep on pressing up and down. For the designated time, fully locking out, and then back down. So depending on what you've got, that might be something that's really easy to keep on moving for the 60 seconds, or it might be something that you're really, really struggling with. Okay, but we'll try and keep going for as much of that as we can. Then we've got a plank progression that hits the biceps a little bit more. Okay, so depending on what we've got, I'll show you a couple of different ways we can do this. The full movement is going to be in between two chairs. Elbows up, okay, so it's just our elbows sitting or kind of triceps sitting on the chair and then knuckles up towards the ceiling. We're gonna press through them and then keep the hips high for, again, your designated time, okay? So although it is a plank, it's hitting your core, it definitely hits the, the, the arms and the biceps a little bit more than your normal plank. Let's have a go at them so I can see everybody and then if anybody's struggling kit-wise or room-wise, I can have a look and see what we can change it for. So if we go for maybe five of those glute bridge floor presses. Yep. So we're looking for whatever object it is to be similar to our bench press, okay? So it's hitting, or your hands anyway are coming in line roughly with your sternum chest, and then pushing back up. Good. And then once we've done that, we'll have a look at our pull-up plank progression. Good, so I'll just give you a wee minute to sort out the kit and stuff you need for it and then give it a go. So the good thing is that everybody gets to flex their buys, okay, like this, like literally pose like this on the chairs and then your hips come up from there, okay. So we're trying to keep that right angle, flexing the guns and then your hips come up off the ground, okay. Good, Scott. Let's see it, Sarah. Okay, good. 
Can we? Don't know if you can, Sarah. Can you get your el more of your kind of elbows and triceps on it so that you're, yeah, that's it. So you're up like this. Yes, that's it. Now go out to the plank. <laughs> no, you can't. You can. Sit, Jackie. Feet out in front, though, on the heels. Yeah. Cool. Paul, you got something? I don't need you to show me, but have you got something you could do that? Yeah, cool. Sweet. Okay, right. What I will do is I'll set the clock up so that we've maybe got a 10 second transition because I know it's going to take a little bit of time to get your object, whatever it is that you're doing, your floor press off and then get sitting on, on the, or sorry, get planted on the seats. And we'll try and go for it all at the same time. Apologies if there's a little bit of delay in the, um, in the timing because I need to swap the times over. Okay, so we're starting off on the biggest time. We're going for 60 seconds on each. I'll put a 10 second transition in between them and I'll keep you right on the time. Then we go for 45 seconds, then we go for 30. We're all gonna get a two minute rest and then we're gonna repeat that again. So we're doing, doing it twice through, okay? Starting off on the glute bridge floor press, guys. So we should have our odd objects or whatever um, in that position. 10 seconds and we'll get going. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hips stay up. Really squeeze through the glutes, squeeze through the abs, and let's keep those arms moving. Nice, guys. And our ob object, our hands are hopefully coming somewhere in line with the sternum, with the chest. Halfway there. Halfway already, doing good. Nice guys, keep those hips up, don't let them fall down. 10 seconds. Okay, let's get ready and I'll count you in on the plank, the pull up plank. Get ready on your chairs. Three, two, one. Okay, flex the thighs. Let's see them. Keep that right angle. Sit. Good, Pauline. Can we get it so that our elbows are just on there and you're going up like this? Go on. Give it a go. That's it. There you go. Nice, really good. Let's go, Sarah. Try and get those legs out straight. Yeah. Halfway there. Nice, Jules. Good, Scott. That's it, Jackie. Keep it going. Dig deep on this one, guys. We've got 15 seconds left. I know it's tough. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds and we're gonna get going back to our floor press. But this time we've only got 45 seconds. Okay, so last time. Five, three, two, one. Let's see it. Nice one, guys. You only got 20 Halfway seconds there. left. Keep those hips up. Keep on moving. Ten seconds. Keep going. Okay, get ready. Rest. Up onto the chairs. So 
feet out in front, elbows and a little bit of triceps on the chairs. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hips up. Bop, 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 bop. Brilliant. Go on. Squeeze your abs. Keep them there. Nice, Sarah. That's good. Well done, Pauline. Halfway Keep it there. going. <laughs> Ten seconds. Oh, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds. And then we're on to our 30 second round, okay? Then we get a decent break after this. Let's go, hips up, let's get pressing. the chairs let's try and dig deep and hold all this guys we've got 30 seconds left and we get a decent break up we go good positions everybody keep it going 20 seconds go on keep your head in it push through it 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Nice one, guys. So we get about two minutes, just over two minutes off. And then we're going to repeat that all again, starting back at a full minute. Ignore that. Awesome. Okay guys, we've got one minute left and then we'll start again. Okay, 30 seconds. Good guys, right, we've got 10 seconds and we're gonna go again, starting back on the minute of work. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hips up. Keep the arms moving for the minute.
halfway there. Really good, guys. Well done. Ten seconds. Okay, on to the chairs. Two, one. Okay, let's go. This is a big number. A minute. Let's try and hold it for as much as we can. Halfway there. Go on, guys, push. No, it's tough. Quick break if we need to, and then straight back in. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds and we're back on for the round of 45 seconds. Okay, let's go. Nice, okay, hips nice and high. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze that, squeeze the abs. And make sure we're really locking those arms out. Full Halfway range. There. Ten seconds. Okay, get ready to swap over. Let's go. Up we go, guys. Doing good. Go on, breathe, keep it up. Halfway there. Okay, 10, Ten seconds. seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds. This is our last push, so we've got 30 seconds left on each. Let's keep on working. Go. Go on, guys. Let's go onto this plank and let's try and hold it. Three, two, one. Let's go, last push. Let's try and hold it for all 30 seconds. Let's go, let's dig deep. We got 15 seconds left. Breathe, keep it up. Okay, time, well done everybody. Good work. Awesome.
Nice, okay, right, get your breath back a little bit whilst I chat through our next part. Um, so our next Metcon, the last kind of bit before we head on to accessory, um, is going to be 22 reps, then 16 reps, then 10 reps of pistol squats or some form of progression towards a pistol squat. Um, or I'm going to show you a close, um, close leg lunge to kind of try and build up a little bit of strength for that front leg if you need to do that, if you prefer to do that. Um, and then on to some form of deadlift with our odd object, okay? Depending on what you're doing your deadlift with, uh, we might up the reps a little bit, okay? So for me, obviously we're used to doing deadlifts with barbells, head and kettlebells, that sort of stuff. Um, if I've got my weight plate here, uh, sorry, my uh, weight vest here, going to try and keep fundamentally the exact same movement, squeeze the shoulders back, touch the floor, and then come up to full extension. So we're really trying to load up the hamstrings. It's quite tough with a small object, say it's like a small kettlebell, to not squat down with it to try and get it to touch the floor. Okay, so if that is the case, say you've got something that doesn't touch the floor quite as easy, we'll just go down to about the shins and then come back up. So we're really trying to load up the hamstrings and not turn it into a squat, okay? Um, if it is something really, really light, we're gonna double those reps. So for me using, this is I think seven kilograms, okay? <coughs> um, I would do 44 instead of the 22, and then double, just keep on doubling the reps on the deadlift, okay? So you've got 22, 16, 10, or double that if you've got quite a light object on the deadlift. And then we've got our pistol squats to start off with, okay? So we'd be, we have been doing these a little bit. Hopefully we're getting a little bit closer towards getting good reps. If we need to go on to something that stabilizes us a little bit to go down into the squat and then stand up, that's fine. Um, equally, if you are wanting to build a little bit of strength, so you think it's more your mobility, it feels a little bit sore, you're maybe not getting good reps in, then we can go for a close stance reverse lunge. Whoop, oh, you kicked off. Got you, Emma. What's Hello? that? Hello. Hey. You're still there, Emma. Am I? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I can't see any of you guys. All right, see you. Oh, oh well, I'll carry on. I think someone's just logged into the, someone's booted me out of the Claymore Zoom, but if you guys can still see me, then that's fine. I'll come back up in a little second. Um, where was I? Yeah, so pistol squats, the close stance lunges. Um, so feet together and we're going to go reverse and we're trying to get that knee kind of in line with the heel as much as we can and then stepping up okay so we're really loading up the hip flexors and the quad on that front leg keeping it nice and close and then swapping over you can alternate the sides every time if you want to it's a little bit of a faff kind of keeping your balance um, or we can just alternate the legs um, after your 10 11 reps or something like that okay um, go ahead and try some of them for me. I'm going to try and get you guys up on the screen again. There you are. Okay, good. So the idea on this Metcon, guys, is that it's quite fast. Okay, it should be movements we can get through quite a lot. So we've got our 22, 16, and 10 on our pistol squats and odd object deadlifts. We then get a two-minute rest after we've done all that, and we repeat the exact same movements after our two-minute rest, but it's 18 reps, then 12 reps, then eight reps, okay? So we get a little bit of a rest after the first block, and then we go in for it again to finish off, but this time it's even less reps, okay? If you've not got that on your phone or whatever, let me know if you want to write it down. I can repeat the numbers or whatnot again for you, just so we've got them there. 
So we start off with 22 reps, then 16 reps, then 10 reps of pistol squats, and then all object deadlifts. We get a two minute rest, and then we've got 18 reps, 12 reps, and then eight reps of the exact same movements, okay? So it's fast, 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 get through them. Quite techy movement on the pistol squats, so keep that nice and controlled. And then let's try and get a good pace on the, on the deadlifts. Cool. What we'll do on this one, guys, is we'll have everybody kind of setting up their clock. So everybody's going to be off this at a different time. Um, and when you finish your 10 reps on your pistols, and your uh, deadlifts, then that's when you start your two minute rest. Um, and then we'll go, we'll go from there. Awesome. Right, give me a wave if we're all happy with that and good to go. Yeah. Nice. Right guys, so I'm gonna put 15 minutes total on the clock and that's our time cap for all this. So I'll keep you right with the overall time cap, but if you make sure you do your own two minute rest as we're going through it, that would be good. So we've got 10 seconds and we're gonna get going, starting off on our pistol squats or our close leg lunges or whatever we're going for. Three, two, one, let's go. So we start off on 22 reps. Good guys, well done. Okay, let's make sure we're standing all the way up to full extension, then swapping legs. Awesome, okay, right, when we get on this deadlift, tighten up the core, use the hammies, and then let's get a good pace on these till we get back onto the pistols. Awesome, okay, down and up, everybody's position's good, let's get a good pace on, looking good. <clears throat> Nice guys, good pace. Okay, reps come down for the second round, so we're on to 16 reps of everything. Nice Helen. They're looking good Pauline, well done.
Brilliant guys, let's keep on moving. Good, Sarah, well done. Let's keep our back nice and strong on these deadlifts, guys. Pace is good. Nice, Scott. Go on guys, let's keep on pushing. Okay, reps are coming down. Let's up the pace a little bit, keep it moving. Nice, Sarah, keep it up. Keep an eye on your clock, guys, when you do come to the end of those 10, the kind of rep, rep 10, you got your two minute rest and then back on. <clears throat> okay good everybody's through the first first block two minute rest and then we've got 18 12 8 on the exact same movements okay really good pace on this second one keep good intensity try and get through as fast as you can Go on, Helen. Good. Halfway there. Go on, guys.
Okay, good. We've got about six and a half minutes left on the clock to get this second block done. Go on, guys. Set Pauline nice and controlled, really good. Good job on these deadlifts, Jack, you are done. Let's go, Paul. And Scott. Okay, we've got about four minutes left on the clock. Let's push. Go on team, let's go, let's get these last reps done. Numbers are coming down now. Nice Jackie. Brilliant guys, come on all the way. Good position on these dead lifts, keep it going. Awesome, is that everybody done? Woo, cool, two minutes to spare, ages. Nice work, good. Right, I will let you get your breath back um, and I'll show you the accessory stuff we're gonna do today. Um, we're gonna do it all together, um, so I'll set the clock up. It is gonna be a back extension, 
Um, something similar to our arch position or Superman position if we've kind of done it before in the classes. This time we're not going to go hands above the head. So we're going to come down on the floor. This would be our kind of arch position here, okay? This time we're going to have hands down by the side. Squeeze the rib cage and the floor into the ground. And we're going for a back extension. We're going to try and hold that for 45 seconds, okay? Now, I f the most challenging thing I find about this is trying to keep your breathing normal when you're in that kind of prone position. That's pretty tough because as soon as you breathe, kind of big exhale, then you kind of tend to lose all core tension. So kind of trying to focus on your breathing is a big thing on that. And then also keeping your abs nice and tight so that we're not putting loads and loads of pressure just on the lower back and the spine just by opening up, okay? So although we're working the back, the erector spinae down here, it should be core, it should be pretty tough, it shouldn't be an ache or a pain into the lower back, it should be everything braced here, we're keeping it nice and safe, okay? So we're gonna go for three sets of 45 seconds, and it's kind of Tabata style, where we're gonna have 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, and then we're gonna go in for the second and third round as well, okay? So if you guys want to get into position for that, I will get the clock ready. Okay. Right, we've got 10 seconds and we'll get going for the first 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Up we go. Squeeze the rib cage in. And you're trying to get as high as you can. So guys, good. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Relax. Okay, fifteen seconds, not a long time, then we're back on. Two more rounds. Three, two, one. Let's go. So arms nice and straight and out by the by the rib cage, that's fine. Keep on breathing, keep that core tension, squeeze the back. Really good, guys. Halfway there. First favorite panel. Here she is again. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Ten seconds. But where are the candles? Where's the candles? Three, two, one, rest up. Where's the candles? Okay, 15 seconds and we're on to the last round. Where's the candles? Three, two, one. Let's go. Last push. Go on, guys. Stand as much as you can. Keep your breathing normal. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Last push. Go on. Okay, all done. Well done, guys. Benito. Good work, everybody.